Hello everybody, welcome to our fish room. Jesse from JN Aquarium here. Today, we're gonna have a look at my fish room, but it's not gonna be about the fish and shrimp and livestock. We're gonna talk about my air system, how I deliver air to my fish tanks. So stay tuned. So this is our modest fish room in our basement. When you walk in, this is what you see. And those are the tanks that I run using air. The only thing that's not is the 180 gallon. We are currently running 32 air supplies. And that's for sponge filters in all these tanks. I don't even have one plugged in there breeder boxes on the tanks and I believe I have uh, one matten filter in operation right now in this tank. This is the pump I use to generate all that air. It's a Gemco, it's a 45 liter per hour uh, Linean Piston Pump Air Compressor. Um, so far it's worked absolutely great. And it does say to use what a minimum of 20 high flow outlets. Um, I obviously do more than that, but I'm gonna show you my air loop system of why that doesn't even matter. And I shouldn't need, uh, I shouldn't ever need air relief system. This is what all our shut off valves look like on our manifolds. They're brass shut off valves drilled and screwed in with Teflon tape and they're very air proof. I don't hear any of them leaking. Here's a large gang of them. I was fortunate enough to purchase this pump used and these manifolds came with it. I modified them to work with the system I wanted to install. So I'm gonna take you for a tour now of my airline system and show you how very simple it was to install. I wanted to use a flexible clear line to connect to my three quarter inch PVC pipe. And that's what I did. I did that with a male to female connector to a coupler, to another coupler, to a piece, and to a T with two elbows. That is because I ran a complete loop system. My air rotates around the entire fish room and every single manifold gets the exact same air pressure. I have the exact same air pressure on everything. So my loop system goes from my pump there, up, round all the, uh, it's way up top there, comes out here at a whole bunch of manifolds there. I simply the simple clip. conduit uh, holders, I guess you would call them. Um, my basement is not finished over here, so I could just screw them right into the joists. System continues all the way around, hits all these tanks on this bank. I know it's hard to visualize with the camera, but there's the pump up in the corner, and that's how far the system goes to here. It continues up, around, makes an elbow right there, comes across right by this very bright light and over to here. And then simply loops back around and comes back and around. Now over to here it runs one of my fry grow out tanks, a 55 gallon tank and a 72 gallon bow front off of this manifold here. None of the couplers, fittings, elbows, tees, anything are glued. They are just pressure fit. And they work very, very well like this. I don't have any air loss and I have plenty of air. The pump seems to keep up with it just fine. So I'm running 32 outlets off of this system covering 71 linear feet of three quarter inch PVC pipe. 
And for anybody wanting to use the exact same pipe, it's 3 quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC. You can get this at any Home Depot, anywhere. Any, any building center you can get this and it's very reasonably so priced. Thanks for watching. I'm hoping I gave you guys some good information on how to possibly do your own air loop system. Simple, easy to do. I had this set up, mind you, my manifolds were already uh, made with the brass fittings put in them, but I still did cut them and, and customize them. It still only took me like an hour to put this whole system up. Everything fit together nice, and it saves me a ton of money in electricity and simplicity. So from us to you, happy fish keeping, happy holidays coming up. Merry Christmas, all that, if I don't get another video before Christmas. And uh, hopefully this uh, offers you a little something to uh, maybe make your own air loop system or improve it. Have a good day.